Alright, welcome back to FDL. In the last video, do we even need to see what happened? Just look at my whole integrity here. That whole integrity is awful. And I have basically everything upgraded that we can upgrade. We could get more engine, more power bars, but that would do nothing for us. Basically, right now, we're gunning for the last level of shields, which is going to take a lot of scrap. An awful lot. And then we've got to get two more power bars to power it. So, yeah, it's lovely. Now, I can't upgrade my senses any. I could upgrade the piloting, which I've said before could save my life. But I'm not going to. And doors, I simply can't upgrade. So let's just jump onto the next sector. Oh, dear. Which nebula do I want to go to? I don't want, I want to avoid slugs if at all possible. Because I don't like the things. In fact, I'm going to go slug. Because I don't remember 100% what their weapons and things are like. Yeah, the only thing that can render a nebula more dangerous is if it's also home to the slugs. This particular nebula is just that. And now our senses are worthless, so let's go into the door bay. So we're not wasting him use thinking their senses. Let's save the position. Oh dear. And let's get on. I'm going to try to keep out of the nebula as much as possible. Because I do not like the nebula. Oh dear. You're surprised to find a ship without slug marking stranded all the way out here. And move in to provide assistance. When you see the pirate insignia on the hull, you quickly reconsider. I can attack or keep my distance. Well, they've got looks like what well, looks like a bomb, maybe a laser or something, and something there, maybe? Hmm. I'm gonna keep my distance. Because I don't like my chances of winning that fight. Not at all. Alright, there's nothing here. Go to this one, then I've got to go back into the nebula, because the nebula is everywhere, apparently. Okay, the distress call appears to be emanating from a slug ship caught in open space by a Mantis Raider. They contact you on emergency frequencies. Please help, please, uh, please, we'll give you all we have if you save us. Because slugs are snakes, apparently. Oh, now. I can attack the Mantis ship. Oh, no! Oh, the, the. I accidentally hit the one key! Oh, balls! I seriously just accidentally hit the one key. Oh well, anyway, gotta continue on. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just calling it right now. This is where the run ends. <laughs> this is most certainly where the run is going to end. They've got two missiles. They've got two missile launchers and two laser weapons, it looks like. They don't have a cloaking system, I don't think. No, they don't. That's a good thing. They do have a boarding system thing, which they're obviously going to board us with. So I'm going to leave the NG in the door room. Oh god, there's nothing I can do here. Oh, that's the worst. That's the worst place they could go to. Okay, I'm going to have to send... I, I want... A, I need evasion here. I'm going to send you in there. Oh, they are whittling down his health so quickly. Got to get him out of there. Into the med bay. Oh, good lord, I hate this so much. Okay, um, heavy ion, lock on shields, burst laser. The burst laser is worthless. Uh, Artemis on... Uh, where do I want to Artemis them? I want to get their weapons down. I'm going to fire the burst laser when... Yep, yeah, okay, burst laser on weapons as well. Oh, God. See, now we have zero evasion. This is why I should have bought that friggin' pilot upgrade. In fact, with zero evasion, we are... Yeah, we're dead at this point. We are dead. This is... We are finished. So, might as well power our engines down to minimum. And then power the med bay up to heal those guys, because the engines aren't going to do anything for us. Um, sending the rockman in there is just going to be suicide for him, I think. Oh dear. Yeah, the piloting system is now broken. It is now just outright broken. 
Okay, Artemis, their weapons again. Yeah, that actually worked. Then burst laser. Ah, oh, son of a... Um, fix the auto, please. In fact, I'm going to move you out there and deoxygenate as much of this place as I can. Don't break my sensors. I need those to sense. I have zero missiles now. And I also have two hull integrity. This is less than six minutes into the video. Uh, burst laser again. My Artemis is now completely worthless. So I'm going to have to rely on the heavy ion to time with the burst laser. We're dead at this point. Let's face it, we are basically dead at this point. Close all doors, there's no way I can come back from this. I'm... they fired a missile. I'm dead. I am dead, 100% guaranteed dead. Because I have zero evasion. I can't jump out of here because I'm not in the pilot bay, and the pilot bay is broken, even. Um... Should I unpause? I'm gonna unpause. Well, that worked lovely, didn't it? That worked beautifully. That was absolutely fantastic, and that was 6 minutes and 45 seconds. According to my timer, which will be a bit off from the final video. That's awful. That, that, that is just bad. <laughs> oh well, okay. That has been FDL. I'm gonna go back to the main menu. I'm gonna click on New Game. I'm going to look at my new NG cruiser ship. Now that has Ion Blast 2. I actually love Ion Blast Mark 2 because it charges so quickly. And com combined with com the combat drone, that can, is, it can actually be quite powerful. So if I do another run, I may do this. We will see though. I'm not going to do one now because... No. <laughs> oh jeez. Alright, well... Thank you for watching this very, very short video of FTL. I can't really do anything to make it longer, so you're gonna have to make do with that, unfortunately. But yeah, thank you for watching, goodbye for now, and I'll see you in the next video which I will record tomorrow when I will hopefully have a new microphone. Yeah, a new microphone yet again, I know, I buy them all over the place, but it should be the best one I've had ever yet, maybe. We will see though. But anyway, thank you for watching, goodbye for now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.